Tonight's the night, the second GOP debate. It will be on Fox News at 9 p.m. Eastern out in California at the Reagan Presidential Library. This article from Fox Business, link below in the description section. DeSantis is going to be in the center stage between Haley and Ramaswamy at the second GOP presidential debate. And here is the official lineup. There are actually going to be seven candidates. Burgum somehow managed to get on the stage. One of those last minute deals. I guess he met all the qualifications in order to make it. So the first debate had eight candidates. Now we're down to seven for the second GOP debate. So you're going to have DeSantis in the center because he's you know, the best polling of this lot. Then you're going to have former South Carolina governor, Nikki Haley. And on the other side, you'll have Vivek Ramaswamy, along with uh, former New Jersey governor, Chris Christie. You're also going to have former vice president, Mike Pence, U.S. Senator Tim Scott. And I think that accounts for everybody, including, of course, Governor Burgum. It will be televised on Fox Business Network and on Univision from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I am planning on doing a second GOP debate thoughts, opinions, review video, recap, just like I did with the uh, first debate a few weeks ago. It will be interesting to see how the second debate goes compared to the first debate. Will Nikki Haley have another surprisingly good night? Will DeSantis continue to flop and flounder? Will Ramaswamy just uh, go all over the place? Will Scott and Bergen be lost in the background and maybe some appearance by Christie and Mike Pence? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Former President Trump reached the donor and polling thresholds, but did not sign the GOP pledge. Pointing to his commanding lead over the rivals for the nomination, the former president did not attend the first debate and is not going to be at the second showdown. Now, as usual, let's go over the Real Clear Politics polls because, yeah, Trump's not on the stage for the first or second debates, but he is still in a commanding lead. 57% once again, according to Real Clear Politics. In a very, very distant second place is Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida. And he's actually gained some ground. He's actually had this upper trend somehow. And uh, below him in, uh, let's see, uh, third place is Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley. They're kind of fighting for third place right now with Haley at 5.6% and Ramaswamy at 5.1%. And then you have former Vice President Mike Pence at 4.3% and everybody else below 3%. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson was the only candidate to qualify for the first debate, but did not qualify for the second debate. There's also a few other Republicans still running, and I can only imagine them eventually bowing out because they're not getting the spotlight of the debates and their poll numbers continue to sink. And that also means less support and less donations. For Perry Johnson, Representative Will Hurd, along with uh, Larry Elder. Mayor Francis Suarez of Miami, Florida has already suspended their campaign. So don't be surprised if Larry Elder, Representative William Hurd, and of course Perry Johnson follow suit and eventually by former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchison as well. So the battle for the backup quarterback position is set for the second Republican debate between Burgum, Christie, DeSantis, Haley, Pence, Ramaswamy, and Scott. Fox Business and Univision from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time for the second GOP presidential debate live at the Reagan Presidential Library in California. Which candidate are you most interested in that's going to be on the stage? Obviously, Trump still has a commanding lead over his opponents, but if something happened to Trump, and one of these other candidates was your backup quarterback for the GOP nomination and election day 2024, who would it be between these seven candidates? Feel free and let me know below in the comments section.